Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Um, thank you for watching uh, uh, ICE 205 lecture series. And this video I would like to share with you on how to prepare the cost volume profit analysis. Uh, you will learn the CVP analysis in math 201. So uh, it's much more complicated um, than uh what i will show with you in this video so let's say you are given a new trading company data for cvp analysis of a product uh, ev1109 okay this is the title of your report uh, cvp analysis report and normally we prepare uh, this cvp analysis for individual product or model uh, to show uh, how the effect of number of unit produced and number unit of sales and the changes of variable cost or the changes of the price uh, and the impact to the profit or loss that uh, to you know, to produce or sell of uh, this particular product uh, so i would like to show you the simple um a simple way to uh, uh, to prepare the cost volume profit analysis with a simple scenario okay let's say you are given the only trading cvp analysis for this product and the data table that you are given sales price is 60 ringgit and the variable cost per unit is 35 ringgit and total fixed cost is 850,000. so you need to uh, build up the data for cbp worksheet consists of column of number of units i mean the possible number of units to sell or to produce the fixed cost means that the total cost uh, related to the particular number of units produced and variable cost total cost a column of total sales and at the end of it is the column of profit or loss um, that will be um, um related to the number of units produced and sell let's say we assume the number of produced and the number uh, and the number of sales are equal so it's much easier to show the possible uh, scenario for cbp analysis so since uh, you do not know how to um, justify or to identify a number of units that you need to show in this column because you can show a step of 10 or a step of 1000 so it, it's quite difficult um, uh, to identify uh, which actually number of units that you need to to take here uh, to, to put in here so uh, the best uh, the, the quickest way actually to identify what are the possible number of units you to put there so you just need to calculate the break even point first so the break even point i just calculated a break even point is equals to uh, the total fixed cost divide with the contribution per unit meaning that the sales price did up with the co the variable cost per unit and that, that is your break even point the number of unit for break even point is 34000 so it is better for you to show in this report uh, the number of units should be in 5000 steps mean that uh, you need to show what is possible uh, profit or loss for 5,000 unit produced, 10,000 10, unit produced, and 15,000 units produced. Uh, you can uh, type one by one, means that you type 5,000, 10,000 until the possible um, number of units that it, it's better for you to, to show that. Uh, that is a break even point of 34,000. So, um, uh, better for you to show a uh, number of units uh, before the 34,000 means that um, uh, from 5,000 to until 50,000 speak, uh, even to show the previous, I mean, 
before the number of unit 34,000 and after the 34,000 so that your uh, your report is more visible and understandable uh, with the panel or the process okay just I said like um, just now you can type them off but it that is a better way actually uh, to write um, uh, the number of series first you just write the 5000 and click that and then you go to home tab go to uh, at the corner um, at the right top you have uh, a box that with a blue arrow down that it calls fill button can you see that okay then you click this button and you have fill it down fill up fill left and you have a series or just different just choose fill series Okay, the fill series on column means that you will fill uh, from 5,000 to down, okay, uh, in linear type. And you put the step value 5,000 means that the Excel will automatically calculate it. Uh, if you put 5,000, then it will come to 10. After after the 5,000 row, it will be 10,000, then 15,000, then 20,000. If you put one and becomes five thousand one, five thousand two, five thousand three, um, then you need to put the step value of five thousand and stop value. How? What is the number to stop? Uh, you must put the stop value, otherwise it will fill out until million. Okay, so step value is the sorry the stop value. I would like to stop at fifty thousand. You can stop at 40,000 because your break even point is already 34,000 calculated. So you can put 40,000, but I want to show a bigger scenario. So 50,000 and click OK. There. It fill out for you automatically. It's much easier, right? Okay, now the fixed cost would be the same uh, for each number of unit you produce. So just equal to click the cell c6 that is contained the 850,000 cost a uh, total fixed cost and uh, do not forget to put the uh the ringgit sign the dollar sign sorry the dollar sign uh for c and six because we call it as absolute referencing when you want to copy them to add the cells then it will be the same okay so you copy them down to the 50,000 unit because it will be the same uh, the fixed cost is the same regardless what you uh, you produce or you sell off and the variable cost is relating to what number of units you produce so, uh, the number of units and multiply with the variable cost per unit so then you copy down the formula oops forgot that if you do not put the absolute bit the absolute referencing then you got there so again put the absolute referencing for the c5 Okay, then, uh, then you have the correct amount. And again, the total cost is equal to fixed cost add with the variable cost. Again, copy the formula down. The total sales is the number of units multiplied with the sales price. I'm sorry multiply with the number uh, the sales price again do not forget to do the absolute referencing for c for the sales price per unit okay and copy them down 
to the profit or loss is the total sales deduct with the total cost. So you have the uh, in bracket means the loss. Then you will show that thirty five thousand. You are just making the profit. Then um, it's much easier for you um, to do the uh, 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 the analysis. I mean to do the report. It's much simpler using this Excel. Um, now you can use the chart. So the chart. Um, please do not use all the data. It will be sarabut. <laughs> if we have a wire for you to. Uh, it, it's, it's not become visible to the viewer if you show all the data on the same chart. So it's better for you to choose the total cost and total sales so that data is much simpler for them to just uh, uh, press your control button and choose which data. So just show the total cost and total sales for in your chart. It's much easier. Uh, uh, a simpler way for the viewer so insert but uh, insert tab choose i would prefer to choose the line uh, it's for the simpler one so you click and then you have the chart you can you can edit the chart title the cvp analysis and so on and uh, please change um the uh the uh uh, X axis, so you just click until you have the rectangle, uh, rectangle box like that. You click there, and then you click the right click mouse button. So you can see the select data. Click on the select select data, and edit your. Uh, horizontal or the x axis edit and you choose the number of units here and you click ok then it will list out the number of units so you can see the changes in your graph in your chart it starts from part 10 so on the possible number of units and you click ok so it's much visible chart for your viewer. Uh, uh, sorry, I the P is quite okay. Uh, CBP analysis for product. Uh, which product? Product. Uh, uh, just now we uh, provide product, product is EV. EV one one zero nine. Okay, you have. The chat. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's all for now. Um, uh, on preparing the report uh, for CBP analysis. See you in the next video for the next topic. Thank you for watching.